actually we'll have Kieran bring in some fake legs. <laughs> fake legs, we are getting the horse used to having a leg on each side. Now this is just a pair of old trousers that I stuffed with straw or something. Um, but it's, it's good to, you know, get the horse used to all of these things before you get on. I could get straight on this horse, incrementally mount, so I'll lean over first. But since it's a Dartmoor pony, we're going to take all the safety. Like I say, I'm, I'm a health and safety man. And uh, dealing with horses, untrained three-year-old horses, you have to be health and safety conscious. Okay, thank you. We'll just let Blue have a look at this. You're outside. It's closing the gate. And that is the first pair of legs that's ever been <laughs> on this pony. And... Uh, what we can do actually is lower these stirrups as well so that it can get used to the stirrups banging on against its sides. Stirrups are a little bit long actually. So we're going to shorten these stirrups up because they're not even even. Not even even. It's interesting. And uh, get this this has string on it, so I can actually tie it to the stirrups as well. Um, but we're not going to tie it for now. We're just going to give it a quick lesson now in accepting oops, things going on its side. Now this, what you're seeing right here, when I said about Blue being a university professor, because if I make any little thing, do anything wrong here, Blue's going to make me pay for it. So Blue is really saying okay actually it can go right behind the cantle and just tuck either side of this stirrup okay now we're safer so we're going to send blue around and just get used to that tapping of the stirrups on its side as I said to you about incremental learning with a, a pony teaching it one thing at a time just to, you know rather than jump straight in the deep end we'll walk in the shallow for a while what I'm going to do now is tie his stirrups under his belly. So I'm just going to take a strap. This is a side rein, but you can use an old stirrup leather or you can actually buy straps that um, this is a really strong um, uh, side rein. But you can actually buy straps that you can put the stirrups down with by his sides. Because what I want to do is put the legs on and I don't want the stirrups banging around when the legs are on because we can also do some long reining with the legs on uh, this way as well. Okay, I'm going to just make sure that's tight enough down there so that it doesn't um, so that it doesn't uh, how am I going to do this? doesn't get a, a leg caught in it or something. But this pony is very quickly becoming me used to messing about on each side of it. Now this is very interesting because this is the first time something's touched him that's not actually touching him. And he's like, oh, I'm not sure about that. So every tiny little thing with a, with a pony, every tiny little thing that you do has to be tested and figured out, is it going to kill me? I'm not sure. Okay. So we're going to put the legs now and tie the legs to the stirrups and also tie them to the saddle as well. And we're going to turn the horse loose um, with the, uh, let the horse run around here with this pair of legs. I'm going to make sure they're safe and they're not going to fall off. Now, despite things happening so quickly on the clock, um, I mean, we're now, we, we haven't been working with this horse for very long at all, really. And uh, you're seeing everything I do, you're seeing on film. There's no sessions unrecorded. So you might think, oh, this is, that's just, they're learning it too fast. But you have to remember that horses have a memory 
like an elephant, they don't forget anything. Can you chuck me that other black line, please, Kieran? They don't forget anything. Horses remember everything. They don't learn things too fast. No, uh, long line. Long line, that's it. Thank you. I'm gonna put um, Blue back on the long reins. He seems to be really settled about the legs, but if I'm gonna ride him, you're basically riding from the ground with the long reins, right? And I'm gonna go with the long reins through the stirrup irons, which is why I tied them down, and also for the, um, the uh, legs. <laughs> so, long reins like this. I was gonna turn him loose, but he was so settled about those legs on him. So now we're long reining now with the saddle and a fake set of legs. And he's seeing all of these things, funny things that, I mean, he's like, what is going on? But at this point, I've done it so gradually that he can take it. Uh-oh, <laughs> we'll let him go that way. Easy. Easy blue, easy blue, easy blue. We'll turn him this way so we can have the line the other side. No, 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 blue, no blue. All right, come on, this way. That's a good boy. Great stuff. Now, I could get on him, I suppose, and that'd be all right. But what we have here today is a volunteer rider. And my volunteer rider also likes the stirrups tied down. <laughs> but um, just see if we can get, remember the trouble I was having getting him to back up earlier on the reins? We'll just see, get him to settle, take a step back. Oh, that's a good boy. When he takes a step back, I'll release the reins and that's a reward. Now remember the trouble I had catching him and he ran away with the lines on. He's really touchy still, and obviously all of this gear on is very scary. Okay, so he did really well then, I thought, on the long reins, really well. Oh, not loose yet. But if I'm gonna get on him, I wanna make sure that he is completely safe. So we have this volunteer rider. And the volunteer rider is called uh, Guy Fawkes. <laughs> the volunteer rider is called Guy Fawkes. I just named him just then. <laughs> Next time you see a video of me backing a horse, some Irish people have just invented a purpose-made dummy rider that you can actually buy. This stuff's very amateurish, but it gets the job done. And it's much safer to actually buy something ready-made. So Kieran will come in here now with Guy Fawkes and uh, we'll see if Blue will let this scary looking thing anywhere near him. Now. And, um, okay. This is just one more, you know, safe thing that you can do. Because if I'm going to get on his back, I need to know that he is good about being mounted and dismounted. Because dismounting actually can be a big problem when you've got legs on both sides and then you go to dismount, they can really take fright because it's like, what are you doing now? Dismounting can be as big a problem as mounting. Come around in a circle around here, not straight to him that way. Okay, so Kieran's going to hand me now this thing, easy. Easy, thank you, oh, yeah. And just take blue here and keep with me, keep close to me. And I'm just gonna let blue see this thing, very scary, along his side this way. And in fact, what we can do is just lead him that way a little bit so that the camera can see. That's it. Okay, back toward me, toward me, come toward me, that's it, okay. Now this thing crinkles like heck. I think it's paper in here. And it's, it's certainly not safe to tie to this horse. It's really old and I need to chuck it really. It's not safe to tie to him and let him turn him loose around here or long rein him with it on. 
but it's just one more thing I could do incrementally and slowly come toward me so you're not in front of him because if he jumps forwards you're going to be right in his way and I can mount him and dismount him slightly quicker each time and he's going to feel this thing in all kinds of funny places oh what's it doing back there you see what I mean about you know, um, doing things incrementally, because he's frightened of this, so, you know, I want to actually get on his back, and I think I'm less frightening than this thing is. So, now let me just see, this might not be, hold him here, this might not be too easy to do, and he might blast forwards at this stage of the game, but I just want to see if I can, easy good boy, easy good boy, get this thing to sit straight up in the saddle, that way. Now he's seeing it right above his head and we'll turn his head this way so he can see it out of this eye. And it's very scary. And we'll turn his head this way a little bit. Always turn the head toward you first because if he charges forward, you've got much better control turning his head towards you first. Okay, easy good boy. Easy good boy, easy good boy. Now we'll just bounce it up and down He's taking it very well. And what we can do is we'll both walk this way. And here we're not going to find this easy. Okay. <laughs> so walking with the thing on his back was a challenge. And it fell on the floor. But look at this, look. He turns toward me and says, look, I'm joined up. I'm being nice. I didn't mean to. You okay? I didn't mean to uh, just deep breath. Keep your adrenaline really low now he says i'm being really nice now if this horse isn't safe to get on today i'm not going to be a hero and get on him come around this side on me i'm not going to be a hero and get on him today if he's not safe because there are old heroes and there are bold heroes but there aren't very many old bold heroes so can you walk with this stay close to me kieran can you walk with this good boy and then i'll take it off He's a good boy. So we want to avoid that charging forwards thing if we can. And certainly when I'm on his back, I want to avoid him charging forwards. But if he does, we just have to deal with it. Now I'm sighing that way, not because I'm bored, but sighing is a great way of calming down. And you might see him sigh and yawn as well. At the moment he's got his mouth tightly shut and he's like, oh. <laughs> now we can actually get him to walk now with the thing on. Very, very steady. Very steady with the thing on him. He's about ready to buck it off, I think. <laughs> and, uh, and he's able to take it. Now that was really good. Now we're just going to bounce it up and down on the ground a few times. Now, while we in the UK and well, most places we tend to mount on the, come with me this side. We tend to mount on that side. It's good for him to see things on this side too, because if I were to fall off on this side, I don't want him to take fright or if I were to dismount on this side. I don't want him to take fright of things on this side. Now be very careful when you do this that you don't... Mm -hmm.